Well, hello there, Virgo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. And this is a general love reading for the week of May 18th. If this one doesn't resonate with you, please check your other placements. And if you would like to order a private reading of your own, all of my information is down below in the description box. So we have the bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. And this is being offered something that you do not really want. Um, along with the Triple Spiral is your Oracle reading and it's getting divine wisdom or learning life's lessons. Uh, I think you are going to be getting a message from someone who uh, either you left or they left you. Things were ending anyway, but it, like, it kind of came to an abrupt halt. And this person is trying to maybe crawl back into your life. Um, strength is what is the clarifier here. And to me, this is saying that, you know, you're going to be getting this message, but it's not really going to mean that much to you. Um, you've sort of figured out this person's game. So let's take a closer look. Your present energy we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, this queen is very tough. She's been through a lot. She may have had, you know, bad relationships or people cheating on her, um, people lying. And this is genderless, by the way. I'm just referring to the queen, but this could be a king. Um, basically, she's had enough, especially in the reverse position. She's not in the mood for anyone's shit. Here is the Page of Swords. So either this person from the past is checking up on you via social media, talking to your friends, trying to figure out what you're up to, or you have sort of taken a look at their social media and you're like, yeah, you're kind of a big liar. Regardless, it's kind of like you've had enough. All right, let's look at your energy a little closer. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. There are a lot of swords in this reading. This may have been an air sign you were dealing with, along with the Knight of Swords. Um, so at one point, you may have felt connected and bound to this person in a way. I mean, she's blindfolded, so she's not really seeing the truth. Her hands are tied uh, in the reverse position. This means that you're you've gotten out of that mode. You can see this person for who they really are and all of their faults. Um, and the Knight of Swords, this knight kind of goes in with, um, he's passionate, he's also argumentative and kind of like attack. So you aren't, you aren't going to be receptive to this message. This is just going to piss you off, for lack of a better term. All right. So we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. You may have been thinking about this person, mauling it over, but that is in the past. Um, I think at this point, looking at the Four of Swords here, you're going to let it lie. Um, you knew that this connection was not good for you, and I think you've slowly realized that, even if it was painful to realize that. Sometimes we want things that are bad for us. Um, but you realize there wasn't much to this connection when you really thought about it and kind of let yourself, you know, meditate a little on what was going on here. And here is a little bit more past energy. Um, so the seven of cups can be about illusion. So you may have at one point had some false perceptions of this person. Now they could have fed into that and they could have tried to present a false front to you. Um, the moon is about the unknown and getting in touch with the subconscious. So after you were thinking about this a little bit, you were able to see this person very clearly for who they are and maybe weren't liking so much what you saw once you got past that illusion or delusion that you had about them. Let's look at their energy. We have the devil. Yuck. So, yeah, that's bad energy. This is someone trying to tempt people into doing things that they shouldn't do. 
Um, it's, you know, toxic behavior. It's a bad narcissistic relationship. Not always, but it's, it's just not a good mix between the two of you. Along with the Four of Pentacles, this person may have been like withholding affection from you, withholding the truth from you. They may have um, clammed up and kind of made you play this guessing game as to what they were thinking, what they were doing. Um, it's not. It's also not good energy. Keeping their feelings to themselves, their thoughts to themselves. Okay, Ooh. so we have the Six of Pentacles along with the King of Cups in reverse. So the King of Cups in the upright position is like an adult. He's emotionally available, ready for a relationship. He wants to be a committed partner. And regardless of male or female, this is someone who has their crap together. They are ready for a full-on relationship. Now, the Six of Pentacles here, they may have been giving some of their time and energy to somebody else. Or they may have made you feel like you have to stand in line to get their attention, that you aren't worthy of being the first person that they they spend time with or, you know, a priority in their life, which is, you know, no way to be. You should always be first whenever it comes to somebody. And we have the magician in reverse, which is a liar. It's like used car salesman um, kind of energy. Along with the Page of Swords in reverse, um, we have the Page of Swords showing up here a couple of times. So the page is all about truth-seeking, um, knowledge. This is someone who is about burying the truth, um, not, not giving you the full version of events, even if you do get an explanation. This is someone who would lie to your face and then say, why do you think I'm lying? So someone just not having it all together. Now, if you are a cross watcher, this may not be your reading and you should check your other placements. I sometimes get um, comments about that. Um, this may not be your reading. So just keep that in mind. All right. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Um... So I see you getting this message and being like, see ya, bye, uh, I'm not going to fall into that trap again, had enough. Uh, the Ace of Cups here is a new beginning, maybe looking for your own happiness, finding a love that's worth your time and your effort. Um, for a very few of you, I don't know how many, um, some of you are going to give this another shot with the Ace of Cups showing up here. I really hope that's not the case. Um, I've been on one of those relationships that is kind of a revolving door, and it was just exhausting. So, I hope this resonated with you. Please like and subscribe if it did. Leave me a comment down below, and I will see you back here next week. All right, bye-bye.